people get involved in your campaign. They say, you know what? I love this woman. I love what she's doing. She's fighting for us. I'm, and I expect all of you guys to get involved with conservative new media. Do you have faith in Janet Napolitano to keep you safe behind? No! No! These people are speaking it out here. They're letting you know what's going on. This is John Villarreal reporting for conservative new media. Conservative new media viewers, what's up? It's me, John D. Villarreal. And I want to talk to you about liberal hypocrisy and idiocy when it comes to this boycott situation or alleged boycott situation of Arizona now that the law has been passed. We've had all kinds of people say, oh, we're going to boycott Arizona, you know, boycott the sports teams and, and you know, all this kind of stuff. Whether it's the city of San Francisco, whether, it, you know, whether it's um, um, different, you know, groups in, in, in Mexico, different liberal groups around the country. And here's the thing, without getting too deep in the weeds on this, because we can go on forever about this. This is what I love about this situation. Here you have a situation where people are saying, hey, we have to follow the laws, you know, whether it's the tax laws or the, or, or the health care law that's been passed, it's not whatever. But now they're basically saying, hey, you know, we don't like this. We don't like the law in Arizona that mimics almost exactly federal existing federal law. And in fact, they amended the law in, in Arizona to be even more tightly construed and restrictive, to be even more careful of people's civil liberties in terms of being able, you know, when they could actually, you know, have probable cause, ask someone of papers. I mean, you have to not only be stopped by a cop, you have to be detained by a cop now. There's all kinds of stuff about this. Now, here's, let's put it a little bit further though. And this is what really, really gets funny. Here we have a situation where there's a flood of illegal immigrants into Arizona. And supposedly, if you listen to the liberal people, they're doing all kinds of jobs that nobody wants to do. And they're everywhere, right? It's not 10 million, it's 12 million now. So, so we have this tremendous amount of illegal immigrants in Arizona that are doing nothing. You know, they're hardworking people, right? According to the liberals. And they're not doing anything. They're minding their own business. And there's a ton of them there. And they're doing these jobs that we need here, That you know, blah, blah, blah. So, let me ask you a question. If there was a major a whole-scale boycott of Arizona, who does that hurt? Who is that going to hurt the most, do you think? Hmm. Might not, would that maybe hurt the illegal immigrants that are coming over here and working in Arizona? Do you think that that might hurt them? I mean, dude, this is like, I could go on about the economic analysis. This just shows the idiocy of these liberals. But let's even push it even further. Then we're having people, you know, somebody's like, uh, people and that, then all of a sudden, you know, San Francisco backed off that. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Well, we have to look at the economic impact of them. Yeah, because if they start boycotting San Francisco, which is really dependent on tourism, if they, st you know, and this state's already an economic calamity, and that city is an economic calamity, or if they start sending some of their prisoners back or not accepting prisoners from California because we sent a lot over there, we'd be in total trouble. So then what they say is, well, we have to, we're, we're not saying we're doing any boycott until we look at this. So the bottom line for these liberals, the hypocrites that they are, is that the only reason they're gonna, the only way they will ever do anything is if it doesn't hurt them. So in other words, they have no real principles. They will only say things and blah, 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 talk, talk, talk. They're only gonna boycott something as long as it doesn't hurt them personally. They're a bunch of wimps and they're hypocrites in my opinion. And this just shows the shallowness and the hypocrisy and the idiocy of those people. If they ever really put a major boycott in effect, it's frankly going to hurt the people that they want to help. If anyone wants to do a boycott here, why don't the illegal immigrants do a boycott on breaking the law and coming over to this, to this country illegally and staying in line and fill out the forms like everybody else? That doesn't mean that we don't need comprehensive immigration reform. We do. That doesn't mean that we don't want to have a lot of immigrants over here that are good people that want to obey the laws and be in the system. We do. All that type of stuff. What it means is that, you know what? The step one to being a good citizen, step two, you know, and, 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 and step one is to obey the law, respect this country, respect the Constitution, respect the people coming in here. That's not too much to ask, okay? I'm sorry. The American people are saying we still control our own country, and we want to have a law uh, and a, a you know and a country that is designed to protect Americans first. Okay, we have welcoming, open arms to everybody that wants to respect the law and the Constitution and all the rest of us. And our leaders, whether they be uh, um, a mayor, clown mayor in San Francisco, 
or Barack Obama all the way up to the top need to respect that and need to make sure that we're focused on safety and security here for everybody and need to have a policy, a border policy of enforcement of the border first, okay? That's what we need to do. I mean, this is too easy. I know I'm a super genius, but these liberals are really stupid and they're hypocrites. Anyway, I am John D. Villarreal. Give us a comments below. Tell me what you think. Subscribe to us above. Tell your friends and make sure that you spread the conservative new media message and we will see you next time.